Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 25th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that a college's professor and management could not be held liable for abetment of suicide under section 306 of the Indian Penal Code for exercising legitimate disciplinary action and suspending a student for misconduct. The court has held that once the court believes the statement of a survivor of sexual assault it is sufficient to establish an offence punishable under section 376 of the IPC and failure of the police to send seized articles to forensic science laboratory would not affect the outcome in such case the court has held that while considering an application seeking appointment of arbitration the court cannot go into the question of novation of contract and merits of any claim involved in the arbitration The Supreme Court has stayed an order passed by the Calcutta High Court which directed the CBI to investigate who was the brain behind the application filed by the West Bengal School Service Commission seeking to save services of illegally appointed candidates by creating supernumerary posts. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has held that a man's promise to marry a married woman is not enforceable in law and any sexual relation between them on the basis of such a promise would not attract the ingredients of section 376 of the Indian Penal Code the high court has held that a government servant who retires on the last working day of the preceding month and whose annual increment falls due on the first of the succeeding month is not entitled for sanction of annual increment for the purpose of pension and gratuity The High Court while observing that if statute does not declare a particular offence as bailable or non-bailable reference has to be made to the schedule attached to CRPC has held that the offence punishable under section 21 of the POCSO Act 2012 is a bailable offence News highlights from the Delhi High Court The Delhi High Court has granted ad interim ex parte injunction in favour of Amitabh Bachchan in a suit filed by him seeking protection of his publicity rights against fake con bandinga crorepati lottery scam and other frauds being run using his photographs and voice without his permission the high court has granted bail to yes bank co-founder rana kapoor in a money laundering case being probed by the enforcement directorate with regard to the alleged wrongful loss of around rupees 466.51 crores to the bank this concludes the news for today thank you so much